Okay, uh, we are now live. Uh, welcome each and everyone to today, which is the third day of our uh, weekly session, daily sessions uh, about the review of the Itau Constitution. I want to thank the members who keep sparing time to join in uh, so that we can be able to uh, I'm very confident this association will, will become, will, will really reach the level of many other organizations which are, which are, which have international partner, which have partners, which have uh, a lot of activities happening and, and are changing lives. As we all know, ICT is one of the, uh, the, the key enablers in society one of the key things uh, that, that uh, are supporting life, uh, are supporting really work, uh, supporting the livelihood. Yeah, so as ICT teachers, we, to, in our motto together again is computer literacy. Uh, if we have, this organization can have a lot of things that we can do and a lot of impact it can do. So only that uh, a number of teachers maybe at first thought of it just as something for sharing papers and learners do you neighbor and that's all. But we can do more than that. Uh, when results come back and we have very poor results, what can us, what can we do? If our session is very big, we'd be having uh, partners and uh, they, they, we get uh, machines, we have linkages with Microsoft and we can be able to mobilize computers for schools which don't have computer labs. We should be doing a lot of things and uh, and making sure that we create a difference in our country. So it, it, it just requires us to come together and, and think of what more can we do. And uh, that is the spirit of this, uh, the reason why uh, we are here uh, as far as this constitution is concerned. As we actually when you look at where we started doing in the preamble, uh, in the preamble of the constitution, we saw the low levels of ICT literacy, the high demand for ICT skills, a number of things that we're looking at uh, to come up with this uh, constitution. So over the last two days, we have been discussing and we have discussed um, a number of things. We have discussed about uh, the preamble, membership, forms of membership, rights of members. Um, uh, there is something that actually we were discussing in the executives group uh, concerning issues to do with membership, membership. Uh, so there I had the, when we were discussing, we discussed this shortly, but we were looking at the uh, membership uh, of, in the association. That this is something that we never looked at yesterday maybe because of the little time. But uh, this, this is just the WhatsApp group. So they, they, we looked at, we saw ordinary membership and bona fide membership, and we were looking at the various roles of these members and what, uh, what, what's the difference between an ordinary member and a bona fide member. So an ordinary member is free and open to all ICT and communities in Uganda, all they need to do is register with the TAU, join the network of the association and participate in the general programs. Then the bona fide membership, according to the meeting we had with the executive, we have a WhatsApp group for the executive. Uh, we had set it at 5,000 and that's where it is up to now. Unlike, unlike, unless if it will be changed in the next AGM. And uh, the number of benefits uh, that someone gets if he becomes a bona fide member, including having higher rights as enshrined in the constitution, uh, that such a member can propose amendments, move a vote of confidence as per section 5.5 of the constitution. If you, if you go to the constitution, uh, there are some areas where the constitution says that a bona fide member, for example, in, in 5.5, um, in section 5.5, here it says that in the event of a misconduct, a vote of no confidence shall be proposed by a bona fide member of Itau and will be subject to confirmation by the of the committee. So there are some things that a bona fide member can do uh, because he's, he's, he's subscribed and is part of the session. So if we had many bona fide members in the session, maybe many would be on this call right now. 
then uh, getting publishing rights on the website. If someone is to be to publish on the website, we have a website. I uh, wanted a very rich website which has a lot of traffic and uh, whereby you getting a chance to be able to publish content or need is something that can promote you and can be able to support to help you to push out and uh, reach out to different people in the in the in the country. So getting rights on that channel requires you to be a bona fide member. Uh, members would get emails if they want uh, under uh, with the tau uh, getting uh, we thought of having a, a WhatsApp group special for bona fide or a mailing list where some particular materials and resources and opportunities are shared. So members get uh, to, to be really uh, interested in being bona fide members, getting access to special tower resources for uh, exclusive for bona fide advertising and selling item through this ITAR website and mailing list. So we have, uh, if we have uh, on the ITAR website, we have a big community of members, over 1,000 people. Uh, so if you can be able to utilize that uh, platform and uh, some of people are web developers, others are what, then special discounts to those members in case of workshops, uh, yeah, bona fide members will do pay less uh, so we were, we were looking at things that would entice bona fide members to be to people to be interested to become bona fide members. Special recognition on the website as a bona fide member. We thought of putting profiles. If you go to the website of Vita, we have something like profiles. So someone who's a bona fide gets a, a verified page, just like we verify on Facebook, getting a, easily get a recommendation letter. Some if the session grows. Some people would be wanting to get recommendations from Itau maybe uh, when they are seeking a different career. So then also special consideration for Itau putting such as being considered facilitated workshops. So if we have workshops and opportunities, then if the bona fides would be the first people to look out for before, yeah. So then we're saying that the money that is collected from the members would be a free will to support the association programs uh, things like the office, the office rate, the website, administrative base. We actually needed to have staff uh, in the office, a, a, a secretariat that will be running the uh, issues of the association so that they will need. Uh, yeah, so that was just one of the things uh, about that. So this was in, in the addition to what we were discussing yesterday. Yesterday we were discussing about membership and uh, we're looking at the uh, membership of WITAU and we're looking at the different forms of membership and um, members raised an issue that uh, there was no difference. Whatever the ordinary member, whatever the bona fide would do, the ordinary member would do. So uh, we never had a lot of, um, yeah, so that was the discussion that we had yesterday. So I'm going to put all those other proposals. So that, those other things I've been reading are additional things we were, dis we were discussing sometime in the executives group. So as we come here for these discussions, we keep writing the proposals that members are bringing in. So the issues of, of members, we looked at it yesterday. So I'm going to add in all those things. Bona fide, what they can get, what assist members can get. Uh, if any member has something additional to add, we can be able to see then how can someone cease to be a bona fide member. Okay, so uh, today we are going to be looking at in, uh, the the other part, uh, the other part. Um, yeah, so members, when you get any 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 anything you want to add, an idea at the bottom we have a comment area on the website of on the constitution page. Uh, we have a comment area. Anytime you get time, you just go there. Uh, we shall be able to see those comments and then we, we shall consider them and uh, put them on the notice of the AGM so that when we have the AGM, um, all these proposals will be there. And uh, we want to have something richer, something that will, people will feel proud to belong to. Yeah, so today we are going to be looking at the structure of the association and our time has already gone. So the structure of the association are the organ uh, uh, constitutes of the organs of the association. Now here we have only three that we had thought of at first. We have what called the National Executive Committee. 
the regional committees, and then we have what called the annual general meeting. So those are the, the, the structures there that we thought of at first in 2018, when we were starting, uh, when we were making the first version of the constitution. Yeah, so over time, we have seen that uh, these organs here uh, were lacking and there are other organs that we thought of uh, from the discussion there. Um, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll keep referring to the, the discussion we normally have in the executives group and I'll be sharing here so that members can get to know and bring in these things. So we have what you call the board. We have what called the board. Uh, the board. Okay, we have the board of directors. Uh, different organizations call them in a different way. We have uh, the board of the uh, the board of directors. Then we have uh, the national executive committee. We have the regional committees. Then we have the patron. We have the patron. Uh, we have the patron. A patron. Either the patron can be part of the board. Yeah, a, a, we have the patron. Then we also have something that we have been discussing on. Uh, uh, that is the secretariat. Secretariat. Then we have what called the, this annual general meeting should be the, the, the let me put the annual general meeting to be the first year. So we need to look at, uh, there are some constitutions that uh, I've been trying to open and uh, they have different things. So we are going to be looking at uh, these and we see whether we can adopt some of these other organs and we see whether they can make their session active. So the reason why this session has been very dormant, we have just been having the, the neck. And, uh, and, the, and the executive fiscal, but these members are teachers. They are teachers in schools. So when you need is time for you need, when these teachers are marking, what teachers are too busy and they don't have any time for the association. They only just remember it that it is an association, but uh, they are too busy. So that's why uh, we, this week actually have been discussing about the issues of the secretariat. And uh, we were saying that uh, if we have a secretariat like many other organizations, if you look at the uh, organizations, the secretariat is, the, is not uh, people who are voted. Uh, it is people who are just employed, they're like staff. So this is staff, what happens is that uh, uh, the staff, what happens is that they, 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 for them, the secretariat reports to the what? Uh, the secretary reports to the NEC. The NEC are the elected officials who are voted, the ICT teachers, the chairperson, and all those people. But then the secretary are the ones who stay in the office of Itau, and they are the ones who do the the day-to-day the, the -day work, they write the proposals, they, they, they deliver, they organize events. They do. Now they, they are paid a salary per month. They are not necessarily the ICT teachers. For example, if you want someone or an accounting officer, you get someone who did that. If you want a, someone, so you may have to, we may have to get people, professionals in different fields and they push the organization forward. So we have been having a, a lot of issues uh, as far as the, 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 what? the association is concerned because we have not been having uh, a team of people who can do the work. Then we have uh, the regional committees. These ones are at, at regional level. And then we have, uh, now this board of directors, when the, the association was uh, being registered, uh, it is registered as a company limited by guarantee. And in the Companies Act, they have something to do with the, what you call board of directors and they have roles. The board of directors are the people who they initiate the, they, they are guidelines on how someone becomes a member of the board and how someone leaves being, uh, ceases being a member of the board. Yeah, so 
So uh, ideally, at first right now, um, we have the people who, uh, when we're trying to register this association, there are five people. We have the chairperson, Mr. Kakaire, the vice chairperson, Mr. Chiamuzi, uh, then me, uh, the national coordinator, then Mr. Dumba, the central region coordinator, and then Mr. Mkisa. So we are the ones who tried to fight with the paperwork. We went until when you registered the association. So in the in the documents, we are like the directors there. Now, when you go to a company like this one, which is the like sort of public and limited by guarantee, where we have a number of memberships, there are guidelines from the <coughs> if you search in the Companies Act. Yeah, so it is the uh, the Company Act of 2020, 2012. Yeah, you you get the you get the guidelines there about uh, different types of companies and all that and how they are registered. Yeah, so whereas the general membership of the association, the ICT teachers, for them, they want an association which will uh, be able to look out for their needs, uh, be a voice, try to lobby for them. Uh, there are they are, they are legal issues that are involved. And um, so when you open this Companies Act, I don't know if there's a which one is a, a clear copy. You can look at the, the duties of the board and how a body can a people can be part of the board, or how they can be, uh, how they can join and how they can be uh, leave the board. So those are some of the things that uh, I think I've been too busy the whole day. I didn't I didn't manage to extract, but I'm going to copy it and uh, I'm going to be sending. I'm going to be we are going to be referring to to each year. So we have. We have the memorandum of association. Then we have uh, we have this is an extract. This is now uh, the extract from formation of the company. We have issues to do with the directors. The directors are somewhere. Yeah, they are part of this. Um, yeah. So anyway, I I was I, we were reading. Yeah, it is here. No, it is different. Yeah. Anyway, so I will because of because of time, maybe I'll just give you a lead on, on that. Let me just copy this uh, and I share. Someone will be able to find it. I was reading it uh, yesterday, uh, but because of time here, I don't think I have time to scroll through and I go there. Yeah. So let me let me just search. Let me just search again. Responsibilities of directors. Yeah, it should be there. There is, the the it is part, part of directors. What their authorities of directors? They, it is it is captured within the Company Act uh, of 2012. So members go and do some research in the Company Act, and uh, we shall be, we can build on that. Um, we can build on that as well, and uh, we discuss more. It is part of that document there. So, so the I was bringing that when I was talking about the organs. Then we have the the National Executive Committee, which has the the president and other the the, 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 the the now these are the people who the other directors and what those ones are organs which are not over the people who people see most are are the are the are the, are the neck. These are the people who are going to stand. These are the people who are going to ask for. So here in the executive, as we were discussing, we were trying to put a, a torch in ourselves and we were saying ah, how things have been going. And we're seeing that currently the executive committee of Itau has 56, um, but these people here have been, the executive committee currently has 56 members. So we're trying to see how we can cut it to make it more effective. Uh, the 56, some of them, we, we have not even heard from them ever since they, 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 they get into, got into office. Some of them, uh, we have ne never got, because we last met at Kololo on the ground when, when they got the vote. After that, we have never heard from them again because they have been totally um, silent and quiet. 
So this is the team of 56 members who are currently the executives um, of this association. Now, the, the executive members are not paid any salary. They are not paid any salary, uh, but they can get allowances from different things that they could be doing, from the meetings, from what. Yeah, they provide the leadership uh, to the association. Uh, they make sure the things are working well. They supervise the, 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 the other secretariat uh, uh, does what? Uh, reports to them. Yeah, so, so that is what I'm seeing here. So here, this was the, the lineup of the people whom we were suggesting. We're suggesting to have the national chairperson, the vice chairperson, the secretary general, assistant secretary general, uh, finance, projects, publicity, and coordination, and people with, people with disabilities representative. So this is the current, so currently we still have chairperson, vice secretary general, assistant secretary general, secretary for finance, secretary for projects, publicity secretary, coordinator. So we have right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine currently, but we wanted to reduce it to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When it reduce it to eight, this is for the national. Now, the current executive setup is that it is duplicated. Whatever is at national is, is sent at central, at, at Eastern. So we we're discussing and we we're saying, no, uh, let us now break for central. Central region uh, currently in the current executive setup, Central region was being taken as one single block, Buganda region, and we're having one person, Namubiri Joan, who was the coordinator. Yeah, so then in Bunyoro, we had broken into, in Western, we had Bunyoro, Toro, Ankole, and Chigezi. So we have four, four, four mobilizers there. Then in Eastern, we have Usoga, Teso, Bukedi, Mugisu, Sebei. And then in Western Nile, we have uh, in North, we have Western Nile, Acholi, Lango, and Karamoja. So we have a leader in each of those. Buganda was only having one person. But we realized that Buganda was, was big. And so we, we were discussing and we said, let us also divide the Buganda into, into smaller parts. So we came up with this map. So as we are there, we keep discussing in, the, in that executive group. So we came up with this map and we were saying, let us divide Buganda into four sub-regions. Greater Kampala, Greater Mukono, Greater Luero, Greater Masaka. And we mapped the districts and we came up with that map. So we could have one mobilizer for each. Instead of having one person to, to mobilize the whole of that, just like the way Eastern is broken, uh, uh, Northern is broken, uh, Western is broken. So we, we thought of having that broken. So we, we tried to break, break that and we came up with the these. So in central, we shall have regional chairperson, we shall have a vice, then we shall have a mobilizer for each of the sub regions. So we shall have a mobilizer for Masaka, Kampala, Mukona, and, and uh, Luero Triangle. Then in Eastern, we shall have a, a chairperson and vice, then we shall have a mobilizer for each of the sub regions. Then in Western, also, we shall have chairperson and vice, and then we shall have a mobilizer for each of the sub regions. And then in Northern, we shall have a chairperson and vice, and then a mobilizer for each of the sub regions. So this one will bring the total number of executives to 33 as compared to 56, which was there in the old executive. Uh, so we have eight here, eight plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, those are, I think, 14. If you add on another, another, another seven, another seven, that is 21. Then you add on these ones here. Uh, these ones are six, that is 27. Then you add on these ones are five, that's around 33. So the, the executive, the next executive will have only 33 as compared to these 56. So in, the, in this one, it was a duplication. It was a national, nine people every. We're having a chairperson, chairperson, a treasurer. Uh, and we saw this structure was really not working according to the, the, the experiences that we're seeing there. So we want something which is going to be more effective. Yeah, so members, um, you come in here so that you understand how it, it has moving. Some of you are just in the other general WhatsApp groups.
you don't know what's happening you just hear itau itau and you see workshops you see what zoom sessions but you don't know what is really happening so the issues of the this constitution now all those organs which i've talked about the new organs they want to put here and their roles and then he look at the, the national executive committee and uh, these positions here which are in the constitution uh, to be updated and changed and then also how members can be there the powers of each of the organs um then the ad general meeting which is supposed to be uh the one which you are going to be having uh, which is supposed to be able to start the, to make the approve the changes to the constitution the regional committees now here we are going to have uh, regional that these are now at regional not, not, not regional level and then uh, the duties of each what does the chairperson do what does the vice do the new roles we saw some some repetition mm -hmm. we have the this the secretary for finance projects and events we have publicity we have national coordinator so some of these their role some of them were cross cutting and uh, they were not very clear because this same table this this constitution we just also when we were making it we just uh, got it from another one okay so maybe that's where the discussion is supposed to end for today uh, tomorrow we shall be looking at elections but before I want to get reactions from what you or what have been discussing. I, I saw the chunk today was big, so I didn't read through word by word. I decided to just give a general overview of what is happening, what is being discussed uh, in, in this other executives group, and also uh, what we have been discussing ever since they are started. What are the new changes we are thinking about? And uh, so that by the time we bring these to the notice of the AGM, uh, members have an idea about what is happening. Okay, so members, uh, that's what I'm um, ending there. So I want to ask request for your um, uh, what 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 is the some what has caught your eye and on these uh, the these on the structure. Do you have any other association that you know that has um uh some of these structures uh that we that i was showing here and how can they if we introduce these structures how can they help us to make the association to grow into a big organization that can be able to create an impact in the lives of ict teachers and also in general an impact in the country i'm going to ask one by one to to, to to greet and then you tell us what you think about it. Mr. Luima? Yes, good evening. Good evening. Okay, me, my concern is basically on the regional committees. Mm. At least I would suggest that they also, at least at one time, they hold meetings because when I, I, I looked at their duties, they have to present the views from their respective areas. But where do they get those views if they don't hold meetings? Mm. And yeah. then, mm. maybe as you had said, do we have uh, plans for dormant, dormant, dormant <laughs> members on the council to be maybe replaced? Is there any way? Because if you have members that ever since they were voted, they have not even hmm, made any, any contribution. Yeah, that's why we are going to have elections soon. So there's nothing like replacing the entire committee is going to be overhauled and we are going to have a new structured executive. In, in, uh, we are going to reduce the positions and the new people will be the ones to, to, to do. So for example, you're talking about regional committees. We Members have been having challenges, by the way, in holding meetings. I saw only in, in Eastern where they tried to create a meeting, but we also had uh, 
we had the we had the workshops in all parts of the of the country, and uh, some me members managed to be part of to, to come. Yeah, we went to Western, we went to Northern. Some regional members could come, others failed, and it was it has been really hard for members to organize a meeting um, because it has been we have not been having uh, finances like to make to, to to help members move and have uh, if it is just a mere meeting. But now with the Zoom, uh, now that the new normal is, is here, we should not have any excuse. The next executive should always be able to have meetings. Uh, the only platform we have been discussing through is that uh, WhatsApp and the WhatsApp groups that we created. Yeah, so we, but we need to be more active such that members see that really we have uh, activities that are engaging the members to be part to participate. Yeah, so uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Kasule. Mr. Kasule. Mr. Kasule. Okay, Mr. Wamono, I've seen you have been on and off. Yes, due to the network problem. Okay, so uh, any, yes, I have network issues here, eh? mm. but at least I'm on. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. So I what I've done was to. Try to tell members about the structure currently of the association. We have a number of uh, organs. Uh, we have the executives. We have uh, we have the executives, and we have we have the patron. Uh, the patron is the ICT officer, the Minister of Education and Sports, Mr. Buye Abubakar, is the current patron. Uh, we have the directors who registered the association at the beginning, and I was telling you that their roles are stipulated in the Companies Act of 2022, 2012. We have the NEC, which is the, the team of people at a national level, uh, the top decision-making organ of the association. And um, we have the regional committees, which I was saying that we need to be, they need to be restructured. Uh, currently, we just made the regional committees to be a duplicate of the NEC, whereby in each, in each regional committee, we have uh, someone who is having a position smeared down of the NEC. But then we were saying that we are one distributed structure. We just have only the vice and the president, and then we have regional sub-regional representatives. So that is the number uh, drops from 56 to 33, which will be easier, uh, more effective team than a very big team which has not helped us. Yeah. So that was one thing that we were looking at. Uh, then we also have been discussing about the issue of the secretariat. Uh, who are people who are going to do the day-to-day -day work and run the association. Um, whereas ICT teachers, uh, so this one is this one's secretariat, just like any other organization. When you look at NRM, they have a secretariat where they have technical grads who, who do the work. One of the things, for example, we have been working to write proposals uh, to different organizations to get projects. But we are too busy. We are marking. We are doing what we have. We don't even have the expertise in writing proposals. So we have to get people who studied, who are professionals in these things, and they can be able to uh, do that. And then uh, uh, their staff, they apply for like a job. We give them. They can be fired anytime. They don't stand for as election. They can serve for for ten years. Depending on, they can serve for one month, depending on just like any other job staff. So these will be the workers, or the staff of the of Itau. So when we are looking at making it, uh, whatever projects you want to do, we have uh, people we can be able to say, you do this, you do this, and then uh, they can be able to do. When for us, we are there busy with our chalk. Mm -hmm. So we that is the, the secretariat. And I was trying to actually compare if you look at the, let me just show you this as maybe as I as a, as a, as a, as a, as I as I wind up uh, on this. Um, there is a, 
I was trying to compare different organizations, different associations. Uh, this is something we have been discussing about in the executive. We have been discussing about this for a number of days. Uh, days. Um, and we've been asking ourselves that where do we get the revenue streams to pay the secretariat staff salaries? Because the staff salaries, the secretariat, they will be staff and they will require to be paid the salary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and we were saying that we need uh, the next term to be really a big change. Yeah, so, so one of the things I, I was looking, we were looking at um, structures of different organizations. We have this one called the Uganda Association of Consulting Engineers. Uh, it, is, it's an, uh, it is the an association here. Uh, it has a secretariat. Um, it has a secretariat. Then we have, uh, yeah, if you look at the governance structure, today we are looking at the structure of it. So we're trying to benchmark. So the secretariat of uh, Uganda Association of Consulting Engineers, they have an administrator and an executive secretary. Those are their staff. Uh, those are the, the two people in their secretariat. Here in the governance structure, they have the AGM. We also have the AGM. They have the council. Uh, the council is like the, the, the neck. Yeah. And they are saying that the positions are voluntary and elections are conducted during the AGM. So this is like the neck, our neck. Yeah, so, so with this one has nine members, the chairman, vice chairman. Then they have the secretariat. So the secretariat is the full time that sits as this you know, official premises. Even us, it we open an office. But in the office, no one is there because all of us are in our schools. So we, we pay rent and there's no one in the office. So the secretariat would have staff who go there every day and their work is to do it our work and run the projects and do whatever we want them to do. We push them to do whatever we want them to do. So that was the, an example of the governing structure of Uganda Association of Consulting Engineers. Then we have another company here called the Uganda Association of Private Vocational Institutions. So we're trying to look at uh, different organizations. You see, when we want, so this one also has a secretariat and they have a general manager, program coordinator, administrative finance officer, and office assistant. These people, they don't stand for positions. These are not political offices. These ones are staff and uh, they, they work and they do. If we want them to write proposals, they write. If we want them to organize a workshop in Kavongo, they go. If we have both vehicles and assets, they manage them and make sure that the things are, yeah, if we have whatever, they are, they, they are the technical. So this is, uh, this association has a, a secretariat there. Okay, so we have um, another one. Uh, yeah, let me just try to open these things just for the record. Um, uh, as I'll be finalizing, so that members can be able to understand. Yeah, so uh, the reason why Itau has not progressed for all these years, because we don't have a secretariat, we don't have anyone to do Itau work. Uh, we are just all of us, because the executives were not paid, but these people will be paid the salary. So they will have, they will have to do work mm, uh, and their work will be to do work. So this company here also has uh, a secretariat. I think I was, this is Uganda Tourism Association. So if you look at this uh, organization, Uganda Tourism Association, uh, it was started in 1999, but it, it, it instituted the secretariat in 2016 after. So it, like us, we started in 2017, but we, we are going, just thinking of secretariat now. Even these people, they started, then they got a secretariat in, in 2016. So it has a fully fledged secretariat in 2006. So this secretary is done, it will make the association to, 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 to move and uh, mobilize members. Their work is to wake up, go to the office, think about Itau. Think about how Itau can what? Can progress. They may not necessarily be teachers, but they are going to be staff of, of Itau. Yeah, so uh, they will be there and their work is to make sure they promote uh, Itau. So this is their constitution. Uh, this is the Constitution of National Association of Social Workers Uganda. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to show, open and you will see the structure. So, yeah. So they have also a secretariat, and uh, that is part of their governance structure. Then uh, also we have the Uganda Beach Soccer Association. These are people, soccer players. How can they run an association which they don't know? For them, they are, what they know best is to play soccer. 
So they hire a professional team for people who can run an organization and uh, they do the, 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 that other work. And then uh, the, for them, uh, they, they will be the presidents, what, what, what. But when there is a, a, a technical arm of people who are, who are, who are working on the, on the, on the, what? On the issues of the association. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so members, uh, I, I came in here because I was I was trying to get more feedback from you and you were quite quiet. Yeah, but um, this is the this is the constitution of the uh, National Association of Social Workers of Uganda. And uh, if we look at the, the objectives membership, supremacy of the constitution, we have the organs. I want to look at the organs. So we have one. The first organ is the Anno General Assembly (AGM). The second one is the, the general meeting. We have the, the neck. We also have the neck. We have the secretariat. Mm. We have the secretariat, and their work is uh, their work is to um, what is their work? What's the work of the secretariat? Um, coordinate the activity of their session, day to day implementation of national action plan, keep custody and update of the members register, handle all correspondence and other activities assigned by the by the neck. So then there is also this board of trustees, which they are having. Uh, and then we have the branch executives. And those are like our regional committee. So this board of trustees, like the board of directors I was talking about earlier. So we are having, we are having to, to, to have to think through the reason why ITAO is just there because we don't have organs which are supposed to do the work. And uh, we think that we can be able to to whatever. Then finally, there is also an association of anesthesiologists of Uganda. They also have staff. They call them staff. And uh, in this case, they only have one staff who is the administrator of this uh, association. So I was saying, remember that even us, we can decide to start with one person as in, in our secretariat who is sits in our office and we know that is our staff. Then with the time, we can add on more staff members if we, for example, that staff has written the proposals, he has done whatever we wanted, and maybe we get a, a particular program maybe, and we start getting some, some revenue streams, then we, we do what? We can add on other staff as we need. Yeah, but for the start, we can have uh, that one to be able to be uh, the staff. Yeah, so members, uh, let me ask you for any final remarks and then we end today's discussion uh, within the next five minutes. Um, I hope members have understood uh, what I've been talking about. Any remark? Uh, Mr. Luima, yes. Thank you, sir. Mr. Rogers. Okay, as we, as we plan to at least have uh, uh, someone sit in the in our secretariat, we could as well think of uh, coming up with a project that can can bring sustain. something. Mm -hmm. Yes, that can sustain our 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 association. Mm -hmm. Since we have uh, we have we have our circle there mm -hmm. through the contribution, this the subscription fee, and the contribution from other members like other. The way other associations stand, they stand on the money contributed by the members. Mm. So we can also try that with the few people, and it it could be of a positive advantage. If at least we could start with one, with one person or two, to manage our our association, because we want it to move to a pace like others have, mm. have gone through. Yes. Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Yeah, so actually, for example, we have the circle. The reason why the circle is also dominant, no one is there. You can't expect, uh, we don't have any staff to run the circle. Mm? So how will the circle work when there is no one? For me, I'm a national coordinator. This is a political office, people just voted me. But if we had someone, we have someone, we are the secretary, we would even have someone who is in charge of this. So when people are, are, are bringing in their money, now if we are to, the other day we were moving, we went to, to Montreal to make a workshop, we come back. Now someone wants to send me money. For me, I told people, don't send any money again. 
Uh, so we are not collecting any savings. People register their members and then we are waiting. So if we get a, a, a secretariat, uh, people who are just staff, we can tell them to do this, do this, do this, and we see how we can be able to push their session forward. Yeah, so because for us teachers, we are too busy with our work and we don't have time. We are just locked in the classroom. We don't have time to push the association ahead. Uh, let me hear from Mr. Kasule and uh, Mr. Let me start with Mr. Mr. Amono, then finally Mr. Kasule will close for us. Mr. Okay. Amono. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Lodgers and the other members on the call. Uh, I think when it comes to restructuring our uh, this, am I clear? Yes. Am I clear? Yes. Hello, Mr. Lodgers. I'm hearing you. Okay, I'm saying, mm. uh, I'm saying, okay, I'm saying I think after restructuring our association now, this mm. one will call the board of governor or other members on the committee being maybe voted for, for example, now you can see as you are taking us to the regional coordinators, the Mbale, the Bugishu, and what have you. We have to come back on board and we see their laws because currently we expect at least all members on the board or all members on the committee to be participating in such meetings. But now mm -hmm. I can say no, some of them, they are not here on the call. So mm -hmm. we can't now run the association when we call upon the members, the committee to be on the call when they are not there. So when we discuss sometimes some things, you find that now the association is going to be lagging behind. Mm. So at the end of the day, you find that the association goals are not extended to very many regions because we, the, the, the members in the different regions are the first priority or the first people who extend the goals of the association out there. We expect now the association goals to reach like a Chisolo, Gulu, Lila, so as Itau or as lodgers and Dumba and the other members in Ikampara and on the committee, we don't expect them to extend all of that up there. So mm. if those members, they come on board and they know their obligations, they know their, their laws, I think mm. we can make the association to move. So we have to call this back on board and we allocate these people's laws. They know their laws and they know what they are supposed to do, such that we can make the association to extend. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Finally, Mr. Kasule is the, actually one of the executive members. Thank you for joining him, Mr. Kasule. You are closing for us today. Mr. Kasule? Um, he was telling me earlier that he had issues with the network. Mr. Kasule, are you able to speak? Okay. Mr. Kasule? Okay. Um, Mr. Kasule uh, was telling me he had some issues there with the network. Okay, members, uh, I want to thank you very much for, for coming today. And um, we are going to, I'm going to try to see, um, I'm having many things that I'm doing, different workshops and trainings and different sessions, but uh, I really wanted us to get time spare and explain some of these things and put them on record. I'm going to share this video to the groups, members who are really having interest to watch. And uh, on Sunday, we shall be able to have all the proposed amendments well drafted. Uh, we shall have a final, we shall discuss through them again. And then we are going to decide the day for the AGM on Sunday, uh, during the Sunday session. Um, I hope more members will be able to join on during the Sunday. I think it's around from nine, from 3, 3 p.m. up to five, uh, two hours. Yeah, so thank you very much members uh, for joining and thank you for uh, the, proposals. Uh, may God bless you all and have a nice evening.